uh, who are third grade string students. I hope you're, uh, you're really getting used to uh, holding your instrument and uh, playing your open strings. Uh, this week we look forward to um, hearing the songs that you wrote. Remember if you're a violin player, your saying for your open strings was good dogs always eat, G-D-A-E. If you're a cello or viola player, your open strings were C-G-D-A, cats go down alleys. And um, if you can write three songs on a piece of paper, maybe we could have you hold them up next uh, this week and uh, we'll try to play some of, uh, of the songs that you wrote. Uh, just as a review for violin violas, uh, when we're holding our instrument, we do want to sit in a chair. And uh, we want to hold our instrument, uh, again, left side, left hand, left side of the instrument, left leg. And this is called a rest position. And it's how we, it's how we hold the instrument when we're not really playing it. Um, when we do play it, we want to pop it up without touching it with our right hand. We're just going to put it on our left shoulder. So it really does go up on the shoulder. And I want to make sure I'm using my jawbone. It's under my ear. And again, a great practice is getting it to um, hold like this. Okay. And again, you bring your, your right hand up, put your thumb on the corner, and uh, you stretch across. You can play G, D, A, or E. Again, if I'm a viola player, I'll stretch all the way across. I'll play my C, G, D, and A string. And same thing with the cello. Um, so that's uh, the two positions we went over, rest position and playing position. Again, having a nice posture really helps you play your instrument. This week we're going to focus on the D string and the A string. And that's on page uh, 2, 3, and 4 in your book. And um, each instrument has the notes in a different spot. And we'll go over that in our, in our lessons. But um, the D string, when you see the quarter note, you're going to pluck it. And when you see the rest, which will be the squiggly line in the book, you'll see uh, the quarter rest. You probably did it in, in music class, and you just don't pluck it. So for example, exercise one, whether I'm a violin, viola, or cello, we'll go like this. Rest. 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 And again, every time I saw the note on the line, I plucked the, um, I plucked the D string whenever I saw it on that space. You might notice that the A string is a little bit higher on the staff. So you have your five lines, four spaces, we'll go over that. But this, the A string is a little bit higher. And that means that I have to play a higher string on my instrument. So the A string, every time I see the, the A notes on the spacer line, wherever it is, I'm going to pluck the A. It goes like this. Here's number exercise number two. Rest. Rest. And if you have smart music, it's great because you can play along with a band. So I really encourage everyone to get the smart music for this week. Have your parents help you log in, create a little account, and then um, you, should be able to, you should be able to be playing with bands and bluegrass groups and country music and uh, you know uh, orchestra, ensembles, jazz groups. It's a really fun thing. Uh, the last thing is that you might notice exercise number four uses D and A. So when the note's low, I'm going to pluck my D string. And when the note goes up to the A, I'm going to pluck my A. So here's exercise four. I'm going to leave you with this today. I find my playing position. I can use my hand to support it or just play it this way. So I find my thumb in the corner. I'm going to pluck here, find my D string. Rest. Rest. Again, that's all. this is a violin, but we do the same thing on the viola, same thing on the cello, using our DNA string. So good luck playing those. You can actually do both those pages. You'll notice it's just open Ds and open As. Get used to where those notes are on the staff. And then uh, maybe in the next week or two weeks, we'll be adding our fingers where we can start putting our fingers down on the string. Great job.